Hi everyone, it's Marie here again. Um, I've come to share with you another journal I've just finished today. Um, I'm not sure how the light's going to be because it's um, it's actually you know night time now, and I'm doing it with artificial light, which I haven't really done before with the videos. So um, hopefully the light's okay and there's not too many shadows. So um, anyway, this is a journal I've thought about making. Um, last week and I was going to do um, like a just a fabric and lace you know with lots of pockets and you know with journaling cards and things like that in the pockets and usually have about maybe about eight pages or something like that but um, after I'd done two um, I was kind of got a little bit impatient with it because it was it was really time consuming and it you know wasn't for me because I like to get things done quite quickly so I've just done a couple of pages and then in the centre I've done like a uh, just like a blank journal I mean it's got um, tea dyed papers in but uh, there's no embellishments or anything like that on in the um, the journal but there are tags and things in the pockets that I've made out of the out of the lace pages the fabric and lace pages um, so anyway I'll show you that as we go through but um, I've just tied it with some elastic lace, which goes nice because it's nice and soft and it's, um, you know, just has a nice feel, it's nice and stretchy. That's obviously a new lace, but it uh, goes quite well. Um, the actual basis of the, the cover is um, some like linen, linen look fabric. It's a new fabric, but, um, and then it's covered in different uh, doilies and laces vintage doily and this is like um, some kind of a vintage trim of something I'm not sure what it was off, I bought it like that um, there's some vintage trim here at the top and then there's some cheesecloth and a, an image printed on fabric and the word vintage and that's all just stitched on there and it's slightly padded so it gives it nice, lots of nice texture and on the back it's covered in a piece of lace um, I think this came off like a, or like a blouse or something like that. I think that was off. And again, on the back is this um, this trim, which is um, some kind of vintage trim. And then in here, in between the first and well, the the inside cover has got um, some muslin cloth, some vintage. Um, I think you call that tatin. Uh, another image printed on fabric as a lady with the postcard style. Um, this is a piece of applique, some fabric ruffle, and then in here is a this is a pocket, and in here we've got a plain, just a little notebook with some uh, plain papers and some vintage ledger paper in there, and also in this pocket are just a couple of little images. I think these are from. Artie Mazer's um, Victorian children kit. So they're all just inside that pocket on the on the cover. Uh, and then the second page, lace fabric and lace page. Again, I think this is muslin in the background, and it's covered with some vintage laces and bits of doily, and some modern pieces. And the word journal is pad padded underneath there. And then there's a fabric ruffle there. And on the other side of this is, um, I did some decoupage, napkin decoupage onto the fabric, which is quite a nice effect. And then that's another pocket. And inside there we've got a couple of handmade, well, a handmade tag with another lady with the, the postcard theme there. That's got uh, some st stitched onto paper. It's got a linen tab. And this is an image of a, a young lady, but again, it's fabric and it's padded. It's a little bit of doily trim there and a button. And on the back is a little little tuck spot with a just a piece of uh, scrap card. And then some little tickets there. You can journal on the back of that. So they're in that pocket. And then... So there's two, page, two uh, fabric and lace pages there, and then in the centre I've put uh, just a plain, well, a blank journal with um, a variety of tea-dyed 
papers, uh, some vintage ledger. There's a little pot. There are a couple of little tuck spots in here. Some tracing paper, some stenciling. And in the centre there's a little flip out there with a little tuck spot. And then I think there's another some stenciling. And there's another little tuck spot here where you can put things in there. And then again we've got two more um, lace and fabric pages. And this one's got the decoupage on again, the little fabric ruffle. And another printed on fabric image. A little bit of padding behind it stitched on and that's like a linen look fabric and in this pocket I've got a couple of fabric uh, tags that I made uh, just slightly padded and backed onto a uh, like a like a heavyweight paper maybe we've got linen tabs on and some a little trim with a um, little embellishment of a, a bulb pin and some buttons so they're inside that pocket and then the other side of this page is um, some more vintage doily, uh, some cheesecloth, the word beauty, uh, and some printed onto fabric. And then the back inside cover is uh, there's a pocket with uh, calico, some lace, some applique trim, some vintage tatting, fabric ruffle. And another couple of uh, handmade tags. This is another padded fabric one with a lady on. Uh, a bit of lace on the top and that's backed onto tea dyed paper. And this is one I've made using craft card. And it's layered with some stamping, some book paper. Uh, this is a piece of wallpaper and then just a little ribbed image there. A little girl. And then there's the back again. So you've got the kind of the, the decorative effect of the lace and fabric uh, kind of collaging, but then you've also got the useful journaling cards and the this journal inside and the extra notebook. It's quite a pretty, pretty thing. Um, nice keepsake. Yeah, so that's that. It didn't end up as as I intended because I did intend it to be. A fabric and lace uh, book or journal, whatever you want to call it, but it turned out to be a, a fabric and lace pockets with a with a blank journal in the centre. So that's that, and it will be going up for sale when I um, start up my Etsy uh, restock after Christmas. So that'll be going in there with, along with a few other things that I'll be working on soon. So as I say, I hope the uh, the lighting's okay and everything when you're watching this, and it's not too not too too many shadows. Um, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye.